Allied drone package entering airspace. Way beyond standby. What's up guys, Shawnee Dogs here, and we're less than a month away. I'll be able to stream every day as well as make videos, and I can't wait. Every day that I go without making a video, a little piece of me dies inside, never to be seen again. We're also less than a month away from the COD World War II beta. I'm sure that's going to be a whole lot of fun. But in this one, we're talking all about the ERAD Equinox. I've been using it quite a bit lately. You saw it in my last video. I dropped a nice nuke with it on throwback at the very end of the game. And here, you're going to see a crazy fast nuke on Frontier. I was playing this map super aggressively, not backing down from a challenge at all. And before I talk more about this weapon, you should know that if you're looking for it in the Prototype Lab or the Quartermaster Collection, you're not going to find it. It is pretty much completely hidden. It was only available during week one, I believe, of the Days of Summer event. You had to keep purchasing these 30 key crates, you could get like 19 of them, and eventually one of them would give you this ERAD. Now what sucks for you guys who didn't play during that week, there was no other way to get the weapon until this week. They added that summer roundup pack and for 45 keys, it gives you random crates from these days of summer events that are dupe protected. So obviously you're going to get like 95% camos, but you do still have a shot of getting this ERAD Equinox as well as the raw solar powered, which is another nuke weapon, the light machine gun, the raw, one of the best in the game, probably the best long range nuke weapon. So in my opinion, those crates are overpriced because during the five weeks, you could get them for 30 keys. Now they're 45. Plus during those five specific weeks, if you opened up all 19 of the crates that it let you purchase for 30 keys each, you were guaranteed to get the weapon. Now there really is no guarantee at all and it costs 45 keys so you're like paying a 15 key penalty for each one but if you really do want to get your hands on the weapon this is the only way to do so and that hack is only available for two more days these weapons are going to be 100 percent inaccessible for anyone who does not have them already what they've already done with the last two rewards from the days of summer event the model 2187 limbo and the proteus ice They've made them readily available in regular rare and common supply drops. So I'm sure that they will do that with these two nuke variants as well as the Volk Retro, but it will not happen for an extremely long time. I'm talking like months. I'm sure Infinity Ward knows that these are highly sought after weapons, or they would have just added all of the rewards from the Days of Summer event into regular rare supply drops, but they didn't do that. They only added the two weapons that weren't all that great, and then they put this hack in because obviously you're going to have those people that maybe don't follow the game too well, and they weren't available during the specific weeks when they had some of the best weapons out there. This hack is definitely like a last ditch effort. It's not very cost effective and your chances of getting any of the three good weapons in here, they're not very high. I would say that this is an extremely bad deal, like shame on Infinity Ward, but you should have been available during those weeks. For people who grind the game out every day, I'm sure you were able to pick up this weapon in like the first one or two days that this hack was out and it wasn't an issue at all. But if you really do want this weapon and you're short on keys because you've been buying that summer roundup pack, the new contracts for this week, absolutely awful. They give you complete garbage, a legendary sniper and a striker rig piece, either head or body, and it's not guaranteed of any rarity. But the bounties for this week, I'm talking about zombies, one of them gives you 90 keys. Mine, I had to go on Rave in the Redwoods and get 200 axe kills, which was very easy, but the challenges are randomized for everyone. Yours might be a little bit harder. You might have to get like 50,000 score or survive 50 scenes, but 90 keys for 200 axe kills that took me maybe 10 or 15 minutes, that is really awesome. I took advantage of that fully and I've been loading up on keys because from what I've been seeing, they're almost done with another set of DLC weapons. I highly doubt that they'll release them before that World War II beta, maybe a little bit after, like one or two weeks, but it'll be a lot sooner than you think. As more info comes in, I'll keep you guys updated. The weapons really aren't finished right now. The look is pretty bad, which is why I haven't shown them to you guys. So once they make some more progress, I will let you guys know and now it is time. What is the beautiful class setup for this ERAD Equinox that I'm dropping a jug and multiple unstoppables with? Well, I'll tell you. We got the bread and butter, quick draw and foregrip. That is an essential. And then we also got two more attachments. We are loading up on this bad boy. Stock and particle amp. So you can pre-aim a bunch of stuff with your stock. You can strafe really well. And you can get some more range out of this thing with the particle amp. It just makes it a complete laser. You want to kill as fast as possible 
And then I also got my three perks, one in each slot. I have dexterity because this thing only has 30 bullets. Remember, it's an energy weapon, so it can't get extended max. Also got scavenger on there. I'm not using rewind, so I can't get more ammo. And dead silence. That is key. You don't want to be stomping around like an elephant. But that's it. That's 10 points on the class setup. And just to show you how crazy fast that this thing kills, the play style that I was using in this, it was just, you know, run around the map and kill everything. Now what I've got for you guys is a live com nuke again on Frontier, but using the Mac Tab 45. And you'll see I'm playing a lot more passively, hitting a lot more flanks instead of taking the enemy straight on. And before I get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to the notification squad. To join, all you have to do is hit that little bell icon, and if you're one of the first people to watch and like my videos, take a screenshot at me on Twitter, and you will be automatically entered for your chance that I'll get a live com nuke for you on the channel. I do at least one of those per week, and if you don't like taking your chances, I do also get nukes for supporters of the channel on my Patreon page. Any link to that page will be down in the description below. Let's get it. It's always fun using the Mac tab. I know it's not the best for a map like this, but you gotta use it. I don't get to use it very often. And we're hitting flanks early. I'm not playing any games. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that grenade alone. What do we got? Oh. Oh my god. Did they spawn in here? Jesus. Let's get some health back. Let the teammates bait out real quick. Oh, I'm hearing footsteps. There he is. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Spraying me down with the mauler, okay? I'm hearing a lot of footsteps. Oh. Oh, they're everywhere. I don't even know what... I, I've been hearing this guy for the last, like, five seconds. Okay. He's like an elephant. Can we hit flank number two? Oh. They are all spawning by me. Gotta be careful. Hmm. That's gonna attract some attention. Oh no, my team just spawned in here. I'm out. Can never be too careful. Do have my overdrive. There he is. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I was going to overdrive towards their spawn, but not with a scare about. I'm not using blast shield. What we got? Are they flipping? Yep. Okay. Every time I get to their spawn, it flips. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For one shot. I'm hearing the footsteps. Come on, team. I believe. Oh, they're, they're dropping. I'm hearing them. There he is. Oh, my God. Oh, he didn't even see me. Oh, man. Bro, I'm in a terrible spot right now. Oh, my God. I knew I heard another guy. I hate hearing footsteps in Frontier because there's so many like hallways close to each other. You don't know where the guy is. All right. This is gonna be extremely difficult. I forgot to mention. Oh my god! I didn't even. Does he seem? Oh my lord! Yo. Did they all get mowed down? What just happened? we got oh my god yo all right we're we're 10 kills off there's a guy in here oh that's nice oh the timing baby all right we need nine or eight kills whatever it is what i was saying is that it's gonna be very difficult because i don't have the advanced uav to work with so i'm not like blindly pushing everything I want, I want free kills. Hey! My teammates are they're taking all of them. They're getting close, though. Friendly counter 
Oh, I just, I think I just heard a guy in here. Nope. Oh. He stole it. He stole the kill that we were trying to steal. Classic. We got our overdrive again. It just hurts. Yep. Oh. All right, buddy. He just he just sort of looked at me funny. He didn't even shoot. Oh, we're closing in. There's absolutely no way I'm pushing that hallway. Oh, three kills. I don't want to get shot in the back. It's my worst nightmare. Oh my god. Yo. That slide scared me. I thought he like knew where I was or something. Please, please, easy kills. Oh my lord. Wow. Wow, and we got melted immediately. Let's go, man. I just popped that. I was going to try to run to the back and I didn't even make it two feet before I saw someone. Okay. Wow, we... Our gun stopped working just in time. Man, that was nice. On frontier of all maps. Unbelievable. With no advanced UAV, you don't need it, people. You don't need it. 30 and 3. We did get wrecked at the end, but it doesn't matter. Because we're the champs. We ended up with the nuke. And then it's going to wrap it up for this one. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like. Comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. And as always... Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Some more great videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.